I'm gonna ask you some questions, Verna, and I need you to be straight with me, do you understand? I'm not a cop. I don't give a good goddamn what you get up to in here. Yes, Detective. When did you find her like this? Yesterday. I hadn't seen David all day, so I came to find him and found this instead. Where is he? I don't know where he is. Asset like that, I find that hard to believe. I haven't seen him since his last client the night before. Miss Dorothy was a frequent client. Her name ain't Dorothy. It's Madeline Avery. She's a married woman. Well, she was. I'll let you guess to who. What? Are you certain? Mr. Avery hired us to spy on her extracurriculars. That's why we were here the other night. He thought she might be having an affair. Wasn't happy to be right. Her neck shows signs of contusion, indicating strangulation. No blood or signs of struggle further confirms cause of death likely to be from asphyxia. Do you think he... Who knows? Look, Verna, I ain't gonna lie to you. This looks bad. Real bad. The law ain't too forgiving when it comes to automatons. Prohibition ain't helping either. I know. It's a death sentence. That's why I came to you. This isn't like David. It just isn't. I feel like someone is setting him up. Did you notice anything peculiar the last couple nights? Anybody new? Anything didn't feel right? It's hard to say. We attract a novel clientele. They appreciate our discretion. The door frame is slightly splintered around the lock, suggesting a possible forced entry. It could be our suspect entered here and exited through the window. Will you help me, detective? You must understand, David is a friend. Not many would understand that, given my position, but I'd like to think you could see how that's possible. He doesn't deserve to be flashed for something he would never have. Consider us hired. Thank you. I don't know what I would have done. So, what now? Well, we'll start with the husband first. He's our prime suspect, given what we know. And he's an asshole. If he turns up dry, we'll have to scare up David. Drag him out from whatever rock he crawled under and hear his side of the story. What can I be doing? We'll need you to keep the cops busy for us. Cops? I don't understand. I hope to keep the law out of this. The whole reason I contacted you was... I know. But we don't want any trouble for covering this up. It never works. We're better coming at it clean. Bodies have a way of turning up. Sure hope you know what you're doing, detective. Mind if I use your phone? Sammy Regal. Hello, Tommy. You gotta call my suit guy, Sam. I'll give you his number. <laughs> Verna, this is Detective Tom Egan. Good day, Detective. I see you brought your boyfriend. <laughs> you got a fresh one, huh? Looks like he got lost on his paper route. Who is this now, Tom? No one, Alan. Sam here is just one of those cautionary tales at the Bureau. Wasn't a bad partner. Until he got a hog on for the equipment here and up and quit the force. Oh. <laughs> He's the guy. So, who's this sweet young thing? Her name is Dorothy. Dorothy Wells. She was a regular customer of ours here at the club. And now she's dead. And your automaton hooker killed her and ran off. Is that the story? We don't know that for certain. Miss Verna has hired us to investigate. You shut your goddamn mouth! You got a long leash on this one here, Sammy. Don't you listen to the radio, Tommy? They got rights now, same as you. Yeah, a stiff in there's really celebrating. We were hired to look into it on behalf of Miss Verna here. It's true, officers. They are here at my behest. Oh! Behest! <laughs> listen, this is becoming quite a hobby of yours, Sammy. Showing up every time some city dame drops dead. You're getting a reputation. For what, solving your cases? All right. Playtime's over. Leave this to the badge and gun types. You know, police. We'll need you to come down to the precinct with us for, uh, for the questioning. You okay? I'll be fine, detective. We'll be in touch. Officers, you have my full cooperation. Come on, Carl. Tommy. Alan. 
It's been swell. I don't want to see you around here anymore, Sammy. You're underfoot. You get me? Detective Egan is an abrasive, unpleasant individual. Yeah? Well, not everyone's got your natural charm, Carl. Hopefully, Verna can keep those two busy long enough to buy us some time. Back to the Avery estate, then. I bet my bottom dollar he's got his thumb stuck in this mess. I hate to admit it, Carl, but you were right. I take no pleasure in it. Might be best to sneak in. And if we get caught? I'll improvise. When a specific outcome is desired, an explicit plan is generally considered... Best laid plans, Carl. You know what they say. Yes, but some of the plans in that metaphor were made by mice. They are mice plans. Expectations of success would necessarily be low. You got a better idea? think you're doing in here? Trespassing. You don't think I can take you apart? Wouldn't be the first time. Never done a Swanji man before. Does this presentation of effective masculinity generally intimidate your adversaries? I think I'll start with that mouth. Hiya, Henry. <laughs> don't worry. Gun ain't for you, Regal. Drink? Might take you a bit to catch up. No, thanks. It's not why I'm here. I don't care why you're here. So why not have a drink? I got the good stuff. I ain't thirsty. Sure you are. What do you want? I got scotch. <laughs> whiskey. Pick your poison. I got them all. <laughs> you got I can do this for approximately 13 more hours don't worry it's not gonna take that long look I ain't here about your troubles with Uncle Sam I'm here about Madeline what did you do what did I do I did what any man would have done in my position if I was younger I might have done it myself but I might as well pay someone who would actually enjoy it she's dead Henry the hell she is Probably off with her mandroid right now, spending all my money. We found her body at the Neon Rose this morning. Your wife is dead, and David ain't turned up yet, so if you got any startling insight as to where he is, now would be a hell of a time for it. They weren't supposed to kill her? She wasn't even supposed to be there. Just take care of the Tin Man. That's what I told him. Told who? Who did you hire, Henry? Who did I hire? Who do you think? The only people who'd have done it anyway. Luddites. Luddites? Are you crazy? It's been said. <laughs> If you gave up now, I would never tell a soul. Look, Henry, why don't you put the gun down? Let's talk about this. If you didn't kill Madeline... You don't understand. It's too late. I've lost everything. Why didn't you just give them what they wanted, Henry? Gotta do every goddamn thing your way. Henry. I did it because I loved her, Sam. I just wanted her to feel a little of the pain that she put me through. That's all. Henry. See yourself out, would you? Henry, don't! 